So thank you very much for coming. Uh, today we're going to be doing a swearing-in ceremony for these three new offices. I know that um, friends and family members have, have gone through a lot these past couple of uh, weeks and months in supporting them. And uh, it's not easy. You know, I know this is a job that not a lot of people are uh, too anxious to take on anymore. So we're thankful for these three that have come to do that. Um, but be that as it may, badges are still not just handed out, right? We, they got to go through a lot. They got to go through the training. They graduated from the police academy on Friday, and anything that is um, anything that is given out too freely is never held in high esteem. So we, that's one of the reasons why we still hold it in esteem. So they graduated on Friday, but today is the swearing-in ceremony. It's a little bit different. This is where they will give uh, their oath to the community. And today I have um, the uh, the honor of recognizing some city officials that are here as well. We have Chief Paul Oliveira, Deputy Chief Al Souza, Linda Morad, Council Pereira, Council Markey are all here today uh, to join us. So thank you for that. So today we are going to be welcoming into our family Owen Azevedo, George Cotto, and Evan Brittal Paiva. Uh, before we begin, it's customary for us to have Reverend Lima step to the podium and uh, say a few words. And congratulations. Uh, as the lieutenant stated, this is, uh, this is a position of responsibility. And these days, there's not a whole lot of people that want to pick up responsibility. Uh, we do like to say what we feel like saying and do what we feel like doing. But to be able to actually stand up, go through the training, do the work you got to do, have family that gets all excited about you and knows that you're going to be out there doing work that maybe not everybody appreciates until they appreciate it. Because sooner or later there's going to be somebody on the other end of the phone that's going to be hoping and seeing you is going to give them that hope. Let's pray. Father, as we come before you this morning, we just lift these gentlemen up. We thank you, Father, that they have stepped up to take this responsibility. We ask, Lord, that as they enter in to the police department of New Bedford, we ask that you would watch over them, guide them, give them strength and give them wisdom. Give them hope when they need it. Father God, and also give them great courage. But Father God, also give them some tenderness because there's going to be moments where they need to talk to a child who's afraid. Give them, Father God, the ability to speak to kids on the streets and as well as adults who have fears, concerns, even anger. But let them know how to speak and how to be a representative of this city. And Father, in all these things, we lift up to you the department to the chief, the deputy chief, and all that are here, that we would always continue to pray for them, believe in them, and Father God, support them. One last, and not the least, we pray for the families. Those will be saying goodbye when they leave, hoping for them to come back home safely every day. Bring them home safely. Give the family courage. Give them perseverance at times. But more than all these things, let them know there's a city that supports them, there are people that are praying for them, and that we thank you for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Reverend Lima. I'd like to invite uh, City Council Linda Morad to the podium to say a few words as well. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here today. I'm joined by two of my colleagues in government, the Ward 1 Councilor Brad Markey and the Ward 6 Councilor Ryan Pereira. Together they cover the entire city as we bring our good wishes to these three fine young men who are joining uh, the city of New Bedford as a fellow employee and a member of the New Bedford Police Department. We uh, provide you with our best wishes as you move forward. We thank you, the family members, for sharing them with us. Um, there are going to be times when they really, really need you, and we appreciate that you're going to be there uh, supporting them because this isn't an easy job. Um, as Reverend Lima said, there, these men are going to experience things in the city of New Bedford that, that they would prefer not to and would like to leave, I'm sure, that memory behind, but they won't be able to do that. So, but, uh, so they'll need your support. We hope that they will stay safe. You are joining an incredible department. Um, this is a department with heart. I say that every time I'm allowed to speak at one of these. Um, the men and women of the New Bedford Police Department are very special. They care about this community. They serve it very well. And now we have three new members that will do the same. We wish you the best of luck. On behalf of the city and on behalf of the Public Safety Chair, Brian Gomes, who is not able to come today, we've brought you citations to we'll, um, welcome you to the city officially. And again, we wish you the best of luck. Stay safe and, you know, could be a chief over here. 
one of these guys, we might be at a ceremony soon, we're elevating one of these gentlemen to the position of chief, and that would be great. Best of luck to all of you. On behalf of the City Council, we appreciate you being given your seat. Thank you very much to the City Council and uh, for your presence as well, uh, for coming here today. I'd like to introduce uh, Chief Paul Olivera to say a few words. Uh, good morning. I'd like to welcome you here today as the New Bedford Police Department welcomes its newest officers, Owen Acevedo, George Cotto, Evan Bertel Pyro. Thank you, City Councilors, City Clerk, Dennis Farias. It's a privilege to have you join us for today's ceremony. I thank you all for your continued support of the Police Department. To the officers' family and friends, we thank you for your support and encouragement for them throughout their training. I would also uh, like to again personally congratulate the three of you on behalf of the department and welcome you. You have accepted the call to become a police officer. Do not take this lightly. Although you, are, although you are a police officer, you will soon learn that only a small portion of what you do will be enforcing the law. Instead, much of what you do will be wearing the hat of many other professions, such as medics, psychologists, teachers, mechanics, secretaries, and many others. Your days ahead will see you become the first on scene for many tragedies. You'll be put in situations to save lives, prevent violence, and tend to broken minds and bodies. At other times, you will help the elderly cross the street, give directions to a lost motorist, and assist a person fixing a flat tire. You have been entrusted to respond to crises that encompass the very worst moments of the human life and to assist others at their time of need. No two situations will ever be the same. But what will be the same is your ability to make a difference to every single life you encounter. Always take the time to make that difference. Listen to every last detail of the elderly person telling their story and get out of your car and shoot a couple of hoops with the kids as you pass them by in the neighborhoods. Policing has changed dramatically since I was in your shoes. It's a much different world out there and it takes more courage than ever before, than ever before to wear this badge. Despite the recent turbulence of the social climate, I continue to believe that together we are dedicated to making this community a better and safer place for all. Know that the residents of the city not only support you, but they also depend on you. Be the example of absolute professionalism, and with that, you will make yourself and others proud. As you now take the oath as sworn officers of the law, I encourage you to always work hard, give your best, and always remember why you chose this noble profession. Thank you. The job has changed, but the oath remains the same. And so, to, as these officers are sworn in today and take their oath, they will become part of our family, and by extension, so too shall you. So, I'd like to call to the podium now uh, City Clerk Dennis Farias to administer the oath of office. It's my privilege and honor to swear our newest officers in. General, if you raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I state your full names. I, I George Cavalier. Do, do solemnly swear. Do that I will perform my duty as a police officer. That I will perform my duty as a police officer by serving my commanding officers. By serving my commanding officers and the citizens of New Bedford. And the citizens of New Bedford with respect, with respect, with respect compassion, 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 courage, and integrity. Courage and integrity. I swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States. I swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of New Bedford. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of New Bedford. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you very much. We promised you a short shebang, and there it was. So <laughs> thanks very much to uh, the new officers, Officer Owen Azevedo, George Cotto, and Evan Patel Paiva. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>